Peggy 12. People have asked us to make a space game for many years now. We have usually made historical games. I would say that you know, science fiction is history in the future, so it kind of fits our profile pretty well. I think you can expect a lot. Basically, Stellaris can be whatever you want it to be. It can be a game where you explore the universe. It can be a game about strategy, diplomacy, conquering the galaxy. Working on Stellaris is a bit different because there's a lot of areas we as Paradox have never really touched upon earlier. Players who will most enjoy Stellaris is probably a mix between traditional PDX players who like Europa Universalis, Crusader Kings, and the crowd who likes the more fantastic elements of science fiction, exploring space and what's out there. Stellaris supports truly huge galaxies. I think at the moment there can be up to 1,000 stars in the game. And each of these stars can be different. It could be a neutron star, or a black hole, or a blue giant. Or ocean, or desert planets, or tomb worlds where pretty much nothing can live unless changed by technology. Now the cool thing about this is that in certain types of solar systems you might find certain rare resources that are not available in other places. Stellaris is a game split into three very distinct phases, I would say. Uh, the first phase is all about exploration, and in the second phase you start to establish contacts with different weird aliens and races. The diplomacy becomes more and more important, so you can choose to be either pacifist and try to create alliances, or you can try to just dominate the galaxy and try to conquer as much as possible. And in the third phase, when all that is said and done, the conflict basically erupts between them. We uh, went for a symmetrical start in the game, as that you should start small and then be eased into the complexities and depth of the mid and late game. I definitely think with the AI that the hardest issue is that our games are basically a big decision machine. So it has to make good decisions all the time and it's a lot about balancing. I think the future of gaming really lies in um, immersive procedural content, uh, which might sound like an oxymoron, but I definitely think it's possible. We base the whole thing in science, sort of-ish. Like we, I read a bunch of books by Hawking on astrophysics and astronomy because it's always useful to have an anchor that's realistic. But I think most of us uh, on the team have read enough science fiction and watched enough uh, science fiction movies and read enough uh, books um, that we kind of knew what is expected of a game like this.